Here's the easiest way to install Sodium 1.21.5 for Minecraft. If this video helps, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. Let's go! Now the first step to get Sodium is to click the second link in the description which is going to bring you to our written guide on how to get this mod. This is only here in case this video is too fast or in case you like looking at photos. But if you want to make it quick, just go down to step 1 and click on the Sodium button in here which is going to redirect you to this site right here. Now here you're going to scroll down and look for 1.21.5 on game versions. If you have Neoforge, download the Neoforge one. If you have Fabric, download the Fabric one. If you don't have any mod loader though, we're going to download the Fabric one. So click on here where it says download and the download will begin right away for your sodium file. I want you to go ahead and drag and drop that sodium file into your desktop though. You can find it here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder on your computer. If you already have a mod loader, just add this mod into your mods folder. So if you have Fabric, add this into the mods folder for Fabric and you're done. Now, if you don't have a mod loader, we need to install Fabric. For that, click on the third link in the description, which is also an article, but this time on how to install Fabric. In case this video goes too fast or anything like that, you could always read through here. But if you wanna make it fast, we're gonna do the same process. Go to step one and click on the Fabric button. That is going to redirect you to the Fabric official page where we're going to hit download universal jar and that is going to begin the download for the installer fabric right away. I want you to go ahead and drag and drop this file just like we did with Sodium earlier and put it right here on your desktop. Now it's time to install fabric and for that you need to make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. Once you do that, go ahead and double click on the fabric installer and you should get this prompt to open in here. Now select 1.21.5 and hit install and if you didn't get the fabric installer to open, don't worry I'm gonna teach you how to fix that in a second. Let's go ahead and hit install and like I was just saying if you didn't get the fabric installer installer to open, that is because you need something to open your jar files. In this case, you're going to need Java 21. This is not optional. This is actually a requirement. Any Minecraft app of Minecraft 1.20.5, when you're trying to install mods, will require you to use Java 21 to install your jar files and to prevent any crashes when loading mods. So I'm going to leave this article down there in the description. You just download Java 21, open the installer and hit next a couple of times and that's it. You're done. It's super easy. And then you should be able to open the installer, which as you can see, it already finished installing fabric. So let's go ahead and hit OK and now let's go ahead and close the installer. And we we could actually delete this installer from our desktop because we don't need it anymore. Now it's time to add Sodium into the game. For that, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And while the Minecraft launcher opens, if you need a Minecraft server, use the first link in the description and use Apex Hosting. They actually support over 200 mod packs, so you can install any mod pack that you want with just a click of a button. They also have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging or anything like that when playing with your friends. And they will actually give you 30% off if you use the first link right now in the description. However, that is a limited time deal. I don't know how long that's going to last. So if I were you, I'll take advantage of that deal right now. Now, again, first link in the description, and now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, when the Minecraft launcher opens, if we install Fabric properly, we should see it selected here automatically. But nonetheless, we're gonna head over to installations, and in here, we're gonna make sure we select modded. You should see modded here on the top right. Go ahead and select it, because without it, you actually won't see anything. Now, once you select modded, you should see Fabric in here. Hover over that, and click on this open installation folder. In here, we're going to add the mods, but we're not just going to place it in here. We need to actually place it in another folder called mods, M-O-D-S, and as you can see, my mods folder is right here. If you don't a mods folder, just click on new here on the top, click folder, and then just name it mods, M-O-D-S. So you just create a new folder and name it mods. That's it. That's all you do if you don't have it. Now go ahead and open that folder app and now drag and drop the sodium fabric file that we downloaded earlier into this folder. If you're going to add any other mod, this is the perfect time to do it. Just make sure they are 1.21.5 and fabric compatible. Now once you added those mods, head back into the Minecraft launcher and hit play on your fabric loader. Now once the game opens, we know that we're in fabric because it says fabric down here, but we're still going to go ahead and open our world and see how our our FPS improve by installing sodium. And there we go, we're getting 165, 149, 164. That's more than enough for me, guys. Now, guys, if this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like how my game looks right now, that is because I'm using the bare bones texture pack. If you want to learn how to install any texture pack for Minecraft 1.21.5, go ahead and watch the video that is up on the screen right now.